This year, at another Olympic Games, another miracle happened, a bigger miracle. Thousands of people from 150 nations gathered together, worked together, and played together, putting aside political and social differences. An entire nation rallied in support of this event, forgetting long-standing conflict, inspired by something greater. And the world saw something extraordinary, a shining example of the power of inclusion, a demonstration that when we put aside our fear of each other, we can move mountains and change lives. The event was the Special Olympics World Summer Games, held for the first time outside the United States. The story of these games, for people with intellectual disabilities, was about more than sports. It's about what we can do when we put aside prejudice, when we accept that we have differences, and when we focus on our common humanity. You, the athletes, are ambassadors of the greatness of humankind. You inspire us to know that all obstacles to human achievement and progress are surmountable. Your achievements remind us of the potential to greatness that resides in every one of us. Special Olympics unites people through sport, health, education, improving family relations, and volunteerism. We are rapidly approaching two million athletes and offer them the opportunity to train and compete in 26 official sports throughout the year. And we are now positioned to reach many more of the 170 million people with intellectual disabilities worldwide find a greater sense of achievement and a healthier way of life. In addition to the potential athletes, the potential reach to families, friends, and volunteers is infinite. Our dream is of a world where every person can shine, can step to the fore, can score a goal on the playing field of life. From its beginnings as a grassroots sports movement, Special Olympics has become a global movement for change. Its message is clear, spoken in any language. We can work together, and when we do, we can accomplish miracles. I try to teach people that we all, all, really more alike than you might think we are. We all like the same things. We all have the same hopes and fears. I want people to look at me and get to know me as a person. Special Olympics affirms that what may at first seem inferior is simply a little different. It has become a vehicle for human reconciliation, for bridging divides, for overcoming ignorance and intolerance. Who would have thought that three months after the Iraq conflict began, a team would compete in the World Games? Who could imagine that a nine-year-old girl from Afghanistan would carry the Special Olympics flag into opening ceremonies before 80,000 cheering fans? Special Olympics is changing lives, and in doing so is transforming societies. The movement gives people with intellectual disabilities innumerable opportunities, but its greatest benefit may be in allowing the rest of us to see that despite their different abilities, they are proud, brave, able, and determined. The example they provide doesn't communicate disability. It demonstrates the power of cooperation, teamwork, and love. The World Games in Ireland taught us that our message will resonate in all societies, in all nations. Our goals for 2005 are ambitious. Over 100,000 new athletes in Europe, 500,000 new athletes in China, a million new athletes worldwide. Through one person at a time, our message is spreading to every corner of the globe. Every day, new athletes and volunteers find the opportunities we provide. The world is embracing Special Olympics because ultimately it's a movement for all people, a chance to overcome our fears, accept our differences, and join hands for a greater good. If we follow the power of love that the Special Olympians show, we will change the world. If you want to be part of the miracle that is changing the world, this is your chance. Special Olympics, miracles are happening every day.